Okay, please put your hand together in the show. <clears throat> Attaining the entrance in heart, awakening to the compassion of Amida Buddha. Through the walking of a primal bar, we shall walk the path of the reciting Amida's name, Nembutsu. At the end of our life, we will be born in the pure land and attain Buddhahood, returning at once to this delusional world to guide people to awaken. Namo Amidabha. Namo Amidabha. Namo Amidabha. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining to this Sunday morning service. Do you know, today is October 10th, National Angel Food Day. And last Sunday was a national ticket day. And October 31st is Halloween. Like this, every Sunday is a, some kind of special day so that we are able to celebrate and appreciate a precious day. The impact of a COVID-19 infections has been over and prolonged, but there is a light at the end of the long tunnel. And it is really, really important to follow the instructions we have to hear for the long time. Wash your hands and using a mask, keeping a distance, Remember this when you have a friends and family with you or someone delivered something to your door in such a state of a society. The most developed industry is the virtual space and industry based on AI, artificial intelligence and the transportation industry, such as uh, delivery. You know, there is a Japanese proverb that say, if the wind blow the bucket shop, we make money. In, in English, it is called the butterfly effect. A chaotic theory that the butterfly flight may change the flow of the air and cause a sudden tornado somewhere. On the other hand, 
a Japanese proverb says that if the wind blow, that's we raise and that's we get into your eye and increase the number of blind people. Blind people make a living by playing the shamisen music instrument. To make a shamisen, you need a cat skin and kill the cat. Then the number of the cat decreases. On the other hand, the number of the mice increase. And then they buy the food container. Then the food container shop is profitable by depending the food container. Therefore, this proverb is concrete explanation of the world of a causality and impermanence. Nowadays, we are all frustrated in some way because we are not able to go and uh, not able to go out and then pray freely. In this period, many people, even I close person, passed away. One day a person asked me, and said, is there really an after a life, an after a life? Or the another one asked, is there really pure life? Then I answered, I said, you're asking the wrong question because you are forgetting what it means to you, what it means for, to you. For example, there are wildfire in California and Australia right now. And I'm looking at them from the safety place of Hawaii and wondering how far they are, are spread or when will it stop? It's like talking about a fire on the other side of the river. But firefighters are doing their best to put out the fire. I say, we have to put out this wildfire somewhere. Or as a hospital doctor said, when a sick person asks a doctor, will my a disease ever be cured? It is difficult to for patient to be cured, to ask, please cure me of this disease is important. The only thing the doctor think about is, I have to cure this disease as soon as possible to walk earnestly. Same like this, the question, is there an afterlife or not? Is there an afterlife or not? Is a suspicious critical one. And it can be said that you are not facing your true death. Long before the corona infections, one lady from Japan asked to scatter service for her, for her husband's ashes in the sea. So I conducted this service. Afterward, the missus asked me with tears in her eyes. I wonder where did my husband go? So I told her about the story of the former chief abbot of Hongaji. Quotation. He said, it's sad and painful to lose someone you are really loved on, and to wonder what happened to him and where he went. It's a normal to feel worried and anxious. But please deeply consider about it. 
when do you think about where you are going when you are passed away? If you don't ever know where are you going, thinking about where the other people are going is insolent and reasonable. It's an impolite thing to do. If you truly care about your beloved one, your husband, at first, you have to find yourself, where are you going? And then live with him. And then I told her, please find yourself, your destination at first in our teaching. Then I read our teaching as follows. Attaining the interesting heart, awakening to the compassion of Amitabha. Through the working of the primal power, we shall walk the path of life. The stations Amitabha's name, Nembutsu. At the end of our life, we will be born in the pure land and attain Buddhahood, returning at once to this delusional world to guide people to awaken. The question we should be asked is, should there be an afterlife? And I myself ultimately believe that there should be an afterlife. For me, the pure end of the afterlife is manifestation of Buddha's vow. The pure end is completely by the power of Amida's vow. And as a guide, the member to lead us to the pure end, the world of the Buddha vow. So once again, let us uh, listen to our wishes and Buddha's vow in the name of So once again, please put them together in the show and recite and listen to the name of Namo Amidabhati. Namo Amidabhati. Namo Amidabhati. Namo Amidabhati.